For Nigeria to stop the free fall into the obvious disintegration which is stirring her in the face, there is an urgent need to stop everything, including preparation towards 2023 election and have a national conversation across board. This is the overwhelming thrust of participants, which include Governor of Delta States, Elder Statesman Pa Ayo Adebanjo, and others, as it ripples Nigeria dialogue in Lagos. Iken Namechi reports, after which we'll have business news with Tolu Lope Ogunjobi. It is the second edition of Ripple's Nigerian Dialogue the with a the theme, Ripple. Rebuilding Trust in a Divided Nigeria, as the Delta State Governor sets the ball rolling with his keynote presentation, well, which chronicled how mistrust the among Nigerians widened despite United Front so to fight for independence. The governor's speech seems to spur far-reaching conversation here, which, to a great extent, demonstrated clearly how divided we are amongst ourselves as Nigerians. Those of us who are opting out of the boat and we don't want to go to Somalia, I want to do what? Go to the right. That's a simple argument, and I don't see why it should be offensive to anybody. When we hear only our own side of the story, and we don't hear the other side of the story, you are angry. And you think you be, one part of the country is cheating. We are angry too. Every speaker tried to proffer a solution based on personal perspective of the country. But what is key is that they all want a better nation than what they see now. What you have to do, to do is clear. Do the election, do constitutional review now. Get every fidelity unit. All the principal parties in Nigeria, sit down. Let us agree on how to live together. The Nigerian constitution, presently the one we are using, irrespective of the number of amendments that introduced them have done, <laughs> must be struck down to allow for a we the people constitution. I love this country more than life itself because this country was built on the sweat blood and life of many of our phobias. The only way we honor them, make it better. You want to restructure? You want to review the constitution? Go ahead and do it. Governor Okoa thinks beyond a national conversation, a truth and reconciliation commission of a sort will holistically address the question of our nationhood. For our elders, that there needs to be a truth and reconciliation commission. I talked about that, not the conferences that we are talking about. Where they will truly sit down and analyze Nigeria as it is today, not as it was before. And begin to prefer solutions on how best we can move forward. The youths are also challenged to take the initiative and be involved in the continuation of similar conversations in all spheres for Nigerians to understand themselves better towards rebuilding the United Nation. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Lagos.